I'm going to make a prediction. Ally Aquinta will be the next Grand Combat alumni, not only in the UFC, but successful. I'm saying I think that was the best fight in the history of MMA, and I'll debate anybody on that fight. I got to tell you, man, it's one of the best fights I've ever seen. Hard determination. He goes down in the first round against a very experienced guy. We don't know how many fights that kid had in Brazil. When you want to see heart and determination, I mean, what do you say about this kid, man? I'm in awe. I, think I mean, what? I, I just, I want to start crying. I swear to God, I'm so happy for this kid. I think he's a warrior, man. What a great fighter. He's a stunt, man. He's going to be something else in this sport, and he just showed his heart in this one. It was Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Chris. Why are you talking like that, man? What are you crazy? Dude, uh, dude, what is this? Can't the camera? Don't you know Longo's in here? Huh? Longo, they want an interview. <laughs> you're, the you're, of, you're the TMZ you're too, of, uh, of, of MMA. MMA. That's right, yeah. we are. That's Put right. me on the bloopers real, real, all right? You know, did you ever think of doing a uh, stand up? No, no. Because I'm a jujitsu guy. Yeah, yeah, man, thank you. <laughs> well, wait, was that a dude, dice no, impression? Was that a dice? Is that a, was, yeah, it is a dice. Yeah. So I always do. I do a poor man's dice. I toured it, with dice for twenty years. You know, did you really? I'm his musical director. I didn't know that. You shit. ever you ever rent dice rules? I, I wrote the song for that Brooklyn Bad oh, Boys. I just figure Excuse I'm giving myself some I, props yeah, here, you, man. You, you know, definitely. Uh, you know? It, it's it's awesome. You Doesn't mean anything to you. No, no, it does. I love dice. I'm into I'm into comedy. <laughs> Are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I noticed that. Yeah, I like uh, Ford Phelan. I saw that like three times in a yeah. day. Yeah, seriously, it was good. Uh, Freddy Krueger was in there. Yeah, that was, a, was, that, was a cult, that was a cult classic. Right? Yeah, I just showed my age with that movie. Yeah, All right, man. now you're depressing me. All right, listen to me. Good to well, see you guys. Oh, Give me you. some, dude. I'm oh, looking to get fine. out. I'm trying to Where do this going? nicely. Where are you going, wow. man? Just look at that. You're behind the f***ing curtain at this point. All right, listen. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, we're here with Ray Longo. Ray, a uh, few words on what's going to happen tonight with Al. Uh, sure, I think, uh, you know, it's a rematch. I think both guys know what they're in for. I think last time we saw Al got out an awesome, awesome win. Yes. Had a rough first round. He regrouped. He pushed the action. He came on like gangbusters. I think he showed his heart. Absolutely. I think tonight we're going to see a smart ally of Quinta. Same outcome, but I think you'll see a smarter guy picking this guy apart. Little, yeah, a little more decisive. A little more decisive, yeah. Last time you fought, man, people were saying that, actually, even Lou Neglia and many said that it was probably one of the best MMA fights they've ever seen. Uh, it was, you were a warrior, unbelievable heart, unbe like a lion. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah, yeah, man, it was, it was amazing. So, Thank you. What did you feel after that fight? Because I had a little few words with you. You, you know, beat up pretty uh, good, but you place, yeah, 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 I was pretty, I was all over the place. I had to really think about it. Uh, you know, I thought about the fight, and, and I think I showed a lot of heart. I showed what I'm, what I'm all about. That, uh, you know, unless it's over, unless the ref stops it, I'm in that fight, and uh, you know, I could, I could push it in the later rounds. Right. And uh, that's what, that's what I'm about. And tonight, any different game plan? Uh, uh probably switch a few things up. I'm going to try not to get elbowed in the head, but you right, know, right, in the right, beginning, I, yeah, he, he caught me with a, a couple punches that. But uh, other than that, you know, I think I, I fought a pretty good fight. He's a good fighter, so I know I'm coming into a war. And if it's not, you know, if I can get the, the something in the first round, that'll be great.
Pittsburgh. That guy was popped at 26 seconds in the first round. The winner by referee Tavid, a detail in the run at the club. The champion now is Adam Ayakuta. regulation about getting poked in the eye by a big toe. That's what I want to know. You get poked in the eye by a hand and, and you know it's sort of a disqualification if the opponent can't continue. In this case the guy got poked in the eye, in the eye by a big toe and then got bombarded and lost the fight. Maybe he should have, had, he should have been given time to recover. I don't know. Uh, what's your take? What happened in there? Uh, no, no, no. There's no controversy at all. I mean he got kicked in the face, right. and his toe might have went in his eye or something. But dude, it's a front kick to the face. It's not a finger jab. Right. I mean, he kicked right. him in the face. He got hit in the eye. That's a good point. I don't understand. There's no controversy. The guy got hit. He went to protect his eye, and then he got worked on, and the fight's over. I mean, if it was a, an illegal move, it's one thing. Right. Nothing illegal about it, bro. Got gotcha. you. You know. Thanks, man. Clear cut. Thanks. Thanks. The fighter just got caught a kick. A toe got in his eye, it happens. I mean, it's legal, it was totally legal. Everything that was done was legal. Look at the guns on this guy, bro. What, you gonna show yours? No, I don't have much. Ray, I, don't, I don't have much, look, what? Whoa! Mike Stewart's gonna go! Oh! I got a bottle full of Kryptonite.